All right, A asks us to add. Notice the addition sign that's located right here. So basically, it's like combining like terms. So we need to find our real numbers and combine them. So I see I have a five and a three real numbers, and those are going to combine to give me eight. And then I have an imaginary plus 2i and an imaginary minus 2i. So those are actually going to cancel out. So my final answer on that one is just going to be 8. All right, B is also an adding and subtracting, so we're just combining like terms. So what I'm going to do is rewrite everything and take it out of the parentheses and apply any negatives or distribute anything that needs to be distributed. So I'm just going to rewrite the negative i. I'm going to take this 7, the plus 7 out. I'm going to pull the negative 5i out. And then I have an opportunity for me to distribute this negative 3 onto both of those terms. So that would turn into negative 6. And then negative 3 times negative 3i would be a positive, whoa, positive 9i. All right, so now we're going to go through and look for our like terms. I have a negative 1i here, a negative 5i here, and a positive 9i here. So 9 minus 5 would give me 4, minus 1 more is going to give me positive 3i's. <clears throat> and looking at my real numbers, I have a 7 minus 6, and we always want to put our real numbers first. So those are going to combine to give us 1. So the answer should be 1 plus 3i. All right, again, I know that I have a addition problem because there's a plus sign here. So if I were to combine these terms, I have a real negative 2 and a real 3. So those are going to combine to give me a 1. And then I have a 4i combined with a negative 9i, so those are going to combine to give me a negative 5i.